acompañan los arquitectos Thomas with Brenda. Hi guys, thank you for receiving us in your beautiful home. Very welcome. It's very beautiful what you make here uh, in, in cooperation, right, with yeah. Javier. Um, well, I, I'm very excited to, to, to enter, but what can you tell us about the facade or, or, or about the concept with the materials and the, and the structure? I think we were, we were inspired by, of course, all of the, the sort of local context. Um, And, and to, to some extent, it was also uh, what the work that Jave had done. So he, he had so successfully done other projects in the area um, that were based on the same sort of structural scheme. So yeah, the, 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 the steel and the adobe um, sort of was an interesting combination for us because the steel is... Um, modern and the adobe is so old and the adobe we didn't have any experience with but loved the material loved how it how obviously organic it is but the texture of it and the history for building in uh, mexico and we thought the marriage of those two ideas could come together in a in a new way in a unique way And so we got, we had the crispness of the steel structure filled in with this very um, warm, yes. Yeah, warm, earthy texture. The house is, is filled with gestures, little gestures like this one, right? This, this <laughs> line, adjacent line. Okay. Una casa que se vive entre el afuera y el adentro. Fíjense cómo vamos viendo los patios. So they, we, we call it, when we were uh, working at the distance, we call it a casita uno, uno dos, dos y tres. tres, you know, because there are three separate buildings, you know. So when we were talking and then was, I was uh, mixing, right, I would say three, two, and one. But exactly. I didn't never miss in the, in the middle one, though, because it was always one. I mean, two. That's right. <laughs> right? <laughs> Amazing. So this is the entrance. We're still outside. Yeah, we, we haven't uh, get you, into the house. Yeah, right? you tell us when you think you're inside. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> well, this was also one of the decisions that we made along the way. Um, we were going to enter the house from a different angle. That's true. Um, and it, it became apparent while we were under construction that this was going to be Per, maybe more dramatic, mm -hmm. an, an opening than the the one the way we were going to come in over there. Um, so. Excellent. And, and was it very difficult to 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 work in in this kind of 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 uh, slope? Yes. Well, it it was, and that was part of the reason that we organized it. In once once we split everything into three, each of the three buildings could be at a slightly different level, and help differentiate between the three, but also help us move move down and, and occupy the site. Okay, yeah, because a bigger mass it be, uh, will uh, become uh, the, uh, very big, uh, I don't know, foundations. And... Exactly, and it would become really huge at the far end where the... the yeah, we had seven uh, meters, remember? Uh, right. We couldn't believe it, but we put up to, to that, that corner, you know, it's seven meters. Yeah. In how many meters? Oh, there is a 30 meters by 30 meters. So if you go in a diagonal, I mean, it will be like, I don't it know, was a lot. 35 meters from here to there. And you know, so we so started the first, the first building here is essentially the bedrooms. And, and we made it look like it's three floors. At the top floor, there's sort of a walled roof garden. And, and then the middle building, the second one is two stories. And the third one is, is one story and they all, sort of step down, down the site. I can feel the air. 
Yeah, the temperature changes a lot just from that side of the door to this mm -hmm. one. Yeah, and remember it's a fe febrero, no? Febrero loco y marzo otro poco. So all this February and, Mar and March is going to be windy in Oaxaca. That's where. This is like a, how do you say it in English? Mirador. Like a view? Like a viewer? Uh huh, viewer. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, it feels like a viewer. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. There's a crack between, between the houses. And then this is the north side of the city, you know, with the San Felipe Hills. Hopefully that house won't block too much the, <laughs> the amazing view you have, guys. You know what? He's, uh, he's the, he's, they are the, the architects for the house, so they had to protect their view. So that's very that's, lucky for you. <laughs> that's why, why my parents bought that. So we're building a house for my parents across oh. the street. Oh, I have a question for that. You will be doing like an evolution of this concept or, or, or do it's something different? Very different. It's very different. It's very different. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's three. It's not that different because there's three, three parallel barrel vaults that in, in, in north, south. Um, ah, that will go this way, okay, barrel okay. vaults, in, all in concrete. Oh, amazing. And so the, the pressures here? on that side are very different because we're, they're going to have neighbors to the north and to the east. So this amazing view that we get to take advantage of is not, not necessarily going to be available to them when the neighbors build. So we had to organize it differently than our house. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Amazing, and how how do we come to the to the living area? The this is the the dining. The, the kitchen. center of the house is is really the, the the kitchen and the dining. And we are we we love to cook. We we remember loving to entertain before COVID, um, <laughs> but uh, this is really the center of activity for us day to day. Area, yeah. Much, right? And so the, the living room is, is off to the side and is sort of a final destination and is a little bit more tranquil. Okay, 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 okay. I love this that you don't see when, they, when you have all the dishes after they serve a, a dinner, you know, or something. Mm -hmm. They just put all the dishes and then you don't see, you know. Like in other projects, you see all oh, this pile, you know. Exactly, because it's an open kitchen, but with yeah. the privacy. Uh -huh. <laughs> and there's... Two layers of, of, of mess, you know. This is the main working with all the, you know, the, the grill and, 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 and stoves. No, don't turn that on. <laughs> no, but they, it's like when, when they were doing this, we, he, they invest in a very, uh, you know, powerful, this is from a hotel thing, you know. I had to turn it on. It's like, he's cooking and there's no smoke at all. You, it's an amazing. It's all the way in the in the top, in you know, its cover and everything. But uh, that was his uh, solution for it because you know in a house that you don't have this, it's like you know it will get smoky after a while, you know. But all the, uh, all, the house, all the smoke ends up next door. <laughs> <laughs> they know exactly what you're eating every day, <laughs> right? Right. Yeah. So. The whole house it has like a circulation, right? Yeah. It's, it's Four faces. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You can go around go the around. spaces. Yeah. Okay. Oh, amazing. Concrete, wood. Concrete. Yeah. Metal around. Yeah. All, all of all of the wood is. Sorry. All the wood is the same. Um, nopo. Yeah. Nopo. Yeah. Um, and. So on the ceiling, we decided to stain it, but we wanted to really keep the palette limited here. And that changes the character so much, but it's still, you know, it's still the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it gives another feeling, you know, like more rustic, more. Mm -hmm. The height of the ceiling, you told me three meters. This is a little bit more. This is, yeah, yeah. Yeah, three and a half. There's probably 34, 36 centimeters more. <laughs> three and a half, 3.5, okay. Well, 
Yeah. Two and a half. You have circulation, air circulation from four sides? Yeah. Uh, side? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. You don't need cooling system. And you don't have like direct lighting, right? Because uh, what is the orientation? We're actually, yes, we do, right? Uh -huh. We have uh, the sun in the morning right here. Yeah. Is the east? Until 10. That's, that's east, about right there. Mm -hmm. But they get up late all the everything. <laughs> so that's where they have the screen. You'll see later in the bedrooms. Yeah, they, 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 they design that screens, you know, in both of the buildings. So you don't have a direct and you can see the shadows in the morning. Like so beautiful from there, you know, all the way to the little salita over there from their bedroom. You know? And that volume also protects us, right? Exactly. With the, with the sunlight. Exactly. And water. And water. And water. And water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And these, these are, these are big, three big sliding doors. <laughs> Excellent. Now you're uh, at the outside, right? <laughs> ah, the floors are cement. There's steel or aluminum? Steel. Steel. Yeah, Javi's Javi's oh, yeah. team built all the windows and doors. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, okay. All the welders and details working with them, you know, had to split it because this is the standard size. And then, well, we decided, well, just you do this, you know, the standard size is pretty much they didn't have a waste of uh, of um, the yeah the glass yeah. That's what I do most of it. Now, when after building, you know, when sometimes architects may the, or, or a builder, anyone who wants to build, you should all the time go like two, the 244 by 122, you know, even from the steel columns, you know, you go something that you don't have a lot of waste. You know? exactly. It's that 12, 20, you know, meters is mm -hmm. a beam usually, okay. you know, or, or 610. So if you go multiple, you know, those multiplies, you, you know, you don't spend as much or in a, in a cost of a building, no? So, mm -hmm. it's the same with the, with the glass, it's totally different than the, than the wood and the steel, no? Van the 360, 280, no? Entonces, that's, that's where you have to adjust. And that's where we were contributing to them. You know, in for, measurements. Yeah, helping translate from the foot and inches to the meter <laughs> was was. What would you say? What would you say are the, the biggest difference in in the, between deciding in in United States or or especially in New York than in in Mexico and Oaxaca? You know what I found out in uh, in Oregon, these type of glasses are not allowed in any yeah, that's architecture. Not, that's true in New York. But like I say to these guys, you know, you can just go here. Temper. They yeah. bet on the 11, it's 11.5 11 millimeters thick temper. Okay. And we had, when they were installing this, I have a video that this guy, they were installing with the Euro, Euro, Euros. They were installing that and someone's hit the, one of the part of the metal and it came down the whole thing. One of the guys actually, you know? And I have a video if you want to look at it. <laughs> this sounds very interesting. Oh, I mean, but it's temper, you know, they, that's, where, that's where you put the money to, you know? Okay, okay. But I think designing here for Mexico is actually, our experience, I think, generally was that it was much, much easier in that it was, it's much more direct. For instance, the, the glass doesn't need to be insulated. The walls are one block of adobe. You don't have to deal with vapor barriers and R values and because you don't have the temperature swing that you do say in New York, which goes from, you know, minus something, you know, goes from hard, hard freezing to, to very hot and humid. And the buildings need to, need to perform in so many other ways. It makes it, and, and all of that is highly regulated by the local authorities, the city, the state, all of that. You have authorities visiting your, your, your work site 
uh, every week. Uh, yeah, they come and inspect. There, there's spot inspections, so it gets very can be. There's a lot of work put into building there that is not about making the you know the project better. It's not about architecture. It's not about architecture. It's just about you know making sure that things are done with a certain quality, and you know we can we can do that here for ourselves. We wouldn't build something that was a poor quality, and so it's. It, 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 but the climate especially is really forgiving in terms of you know how how you design things here, which is really fun. There's 365 days. What? Don't you think we have like 200 days perfect? That's oh, the most thing in Mojaca. You think so? Yeah, yeah. we'll say, let's say 250. Let's give him, you know, 100 and something days that is like badly. That's, that's what I always, uh, as a client, they bought the land because we did the develop. Uh, and that's what I was telling, you know, since the beginning. I said the most valuable, I think, is the weather. Excellent. Excellent, guys. Okay, so can we go outside again? <laughs>
And here you have four meters. And here more. we have a full four yeah, meters. Yeah, a little, yeah, yeah, a little bit more, right? Yeah. I think it's five. Yeah. This was your first time uh, uh, using the, we call celosia. Celosia, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We, the, we really loved that, it, you know, it appears again and again. It's such a good contextual material and device and it provides so much shade and, 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 and sort of tempers the light. Um, and so we, we were really attracted to the idea of having really big areas of it. And um, we, it took some time to find the, the, right, the right pattern um, and then play with the positioning of each of the blocks, which we decided needed to be random in the end. And then, um, especially in this room, I think there was a lot of question about making a big wall like this in the direction of the primary view. Ah, claro. Uh, yeah, 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 you are blocking in a way. We're blocking the view, which is, you know, but, but this was also, there were a couple things about this position. This is very close to the road. Um, so we wanted to have privacy, um, but the, the view is, you know, is, is kind of everywhere. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to temper the view in a few places so, and, and just give little hints of it so that it, it makes, in a way, it makes the view more important and emphasizes it by taking it away sometimes. Yeah, you see it again once it's you're prohibited from seeing it in some places. So it feels fresh. And the other thing that we loved, besides the patterns of the light coming through the celestia and the, the sort of disguise of the major view, um, is, is that now that view, at different times of the day, are lit up almost like a stained glass window. You know, the, the colors become part of a almost, it's, it's fractured so much that it becomes more of a painting. I like how it's vestibulated, no? The la trampa que le llamamos. All in cement, the walls? Yeah. Ah, the sink of Cantera. One piece. Well, three pieces. Three pieces. <laughs> <laughs> wow, nice. What is the name of the artist? Irving Herrera. He's, he's, he's local. Excellent printmaker. Very expressive, I love it. And again, no, the, the cracks. In the, in the volumes, very big one. Ah, el cerramiento. It's very simple. It's it's got a, a bench along one side, and it's got and and two two depths. One that's Brenda's height, and one that's my height. <laughs> <laughs> to our necks. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And a very useful bench. Yep. Yeah. yeah. To have a drink. Who 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 made the the gardener? You. We we had a a, a landscape uh, person help us at the beginning, um, and and sort of establish everything, and then and then um, we we added added it and nature edited it a lot of you know some things died so we we pulled them out and we um, you know Brenda's really finished it ah, and you have another roof and this one is for the water this yeah. is for water yeah okay. Because it's open here, water will come down. That's how a 
um, and a good architect thinks, right? Always prevent, uh, prevent, right? More gardens. Okay, I love that picture. Thank you. That's our good friend of ours in New York, Stephen Main, painted that. He also did the paintings in the in the living room. Ah, okay, okay. Very, very abstract, but very powerful and simple. So to the left, we have our bathroom. And then to this side with the terrace is where we have the bedroom. It's similar to the kitchen, right? With the wall. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. It floats sort of like an object within the bigger space. Exactly. So the space can remain very open and flowing. Yeah, flowing. This is a lot of fluidity in the yeah. house. Right? You can walk uh, around. Walk around. Uh, yeah. Exactly. And you don't have a TV in here. You nope. have the TV. The, 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 we have one TV upstairs. Yeah. <laughs> we have the view. Yeah. The view, exactly. Yeah, yeah. You have to watch NFL. <laughs> yeah. And it's a very, uh, well, very good space for the terrace, like four to four by 3.5, something mm -hmm. like that, right? So very yeah. close to that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Angle in, I guess. And again, you block the view, but yep. then you open it. Well, we have to have privacy from my parents across the street. <laughs> Intimacy is very important. <laughs> and there's a, uh, like, how many? Like 1.5 meters. Yeah. So it's like That's a... That's a drop. Uh -huh. yeah. You can go uh, from here to the pool. It's like a place to only contemplate, right? That's right. That's right. Cement. This was our New York apartment. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Yeah. And the light at the bottom. Pretty cool. Ah, and the cantera again in the floor. Oh, no, actually, this it's a... Uh, what is this? It's a black it's stone no, no, from... No. I thought it was from central Mexico. Yeah, yeah. The guy who sells the cantera, he started introducing. Yeah. Right? And then yeah. he offered us, you know, the, the black stone, and he really liked it. And then, I mean, it goes to the whole house, right? Oof. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> La madera, me dijeron que, que era. La madera nopo. 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 Mm -hmm. Es una madera nopo. tropical. Muy suave y muy fácil para el carpintero manejarla. Es muy. Es como en el mezcal, hablas el espadín. Es súper <laughs> agradable, ¿no? Y el color es muy bonito, ¿no? Sí, el color es muy. Y, y va con todo su tema. ¿no? Mm -hmm. En la casa. And again, de remate. You know? Exactly. It's like... <laughs> We Always should have you. called it Casa Remate. Casa, Casa Remate, <laughs> yeah, we're going to change that. I don't know, I love it. <laughs> These colors, the, the, this mixture, uh, it reminds me the Juan O'Gorman, the Diego Rivera and Frida Kahlo ah, house, right? That's nice, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot. No, it's like a very private garden. Okay, and this is the bathroom. Nice. There's a playfulness between the, the light and the dark, right? Mm -hmm. Like it's crazy how it changes. And this is amazing. It's a triple high ceiling outside shower. <laughs> outside ah okay, you have an, an outside and an inside. Oh very beautiful. I love how the light changes uh, going through the plants, right? This is an abstract painting. We, uh, with, uh, with Brenda, we find out about the stabilizers. This was new. We saw that so many places, but there's stabilizers here. Yeah, You'll okay. see it in all our projects now, uh -huh. right? Remember Brenda when we found it? Because yeah. she wanted like the gravel and you know when you, you don't have the stabilizers, I mean the gravel, it goes like, huh? Uh -huh. So it, you can walk over here with the heels, you know? Okay. And there is no problem. 
That's a very good tip. Yeah, it <laughs> is. And uh, we can hook you up. Mother Center had it now. Because uh, they, they, there is one in Monterrey, but it was very expensive, the square meter. It was like about 800 pesos a square meter. Mm -hmm. So then we found this guy, and it's a Mexican company, actually, who is creating. It's a family in Mexico City that they were doing plastic, and suddenly they shift to this, and they were doing bad. But then Mother Center hooked him up, and now he's like, they're doing really well. Okay. It's a family from Mexico City, which is... We have to get the, the contact. Exactly. Right? No, no, I'll give it to you. No, it's so perfect. I do it on all my projects now. No, no. My house is like full of that. Even my <laughs> studio. In my studio, that's where we walk in gravel, right? But it, here was the first time we introduced these stabilizers. Oh, so How do you say? Stabilizer or stables? Yeah, stabilizers. Yeah. Stabilizers, yeah. yeah. So again, you go around the house too, you know? Well, you can go there and then there is another. In here, you, you feel like a, like a beach ho home, <laughs> right? I don't yeah. know. It, feel, it gives you that, that feeling that you will find the, the sea yeah, over there. Yeah, that's right. This is amazing. Yeah. And then look, look at like, uh, like they were saying, we, when you are in Oaxaca or building in Mexico, I think you become a little inventor, right? We had those, those doors. It's always with the water. It was getting water inside the house. So they create this scream again, and it doesn't hit that strong. And, That's right. and we were talking, right, Arquitecto? Uh -huh. you know, like it start raining, and every all the architects start like, or builders, right? Oh, there is the phone calls, you know? There is a, <clears throat> a water problem, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Like, so with right. those screens, they, 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 they told us, okay, do an scream, and kind of basing the, the same like the scream was over there, you know? Mm -hmm. It doesn't hit the water, so it, it doesn't get too invaded, you know? Okay, yeah, they work great. But why did it, didn't you do it on the on the all the in the old window windows? Why only in these ones? The with these these were the only ones that were really leaking. Okay, okay, okay. There was there was no water coming in anywhere else, so we we built these little these little cages. Yeah, little screen cage things. They're like little creatures or something. I'm not sure what they are, but they're but, they but they're funny. <laughs> they're funny. They have a fun. They, they have a. They they live a funny life over here. And this, this is like the magic spot. Yeah. Uh oh! Don't don't film the orchid collection. <laughs> it's very sad. I'm not good at keeping them alive. Yeah, this is the orchid graveyard over here. The passion fruit's very happy. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah. In these adobe walls, you don't need like a like a middle beam, concrete beam. There, there is built in, so they're they're reinforced. Behind, be careful. Uh -huh. It's reinforced um, within the concrete. So every I think three meters, there's a what how they call it, a chain reinforcing. Okay, within okay, it, okay. so that you can have these big expanses of adobe. Ah, okay. So it's sort of hidden in there. What, what, what is the, 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 the width of the, of the adobe wall? Uh, it's uh, 30 centimeters. Third, yeah, and 30. In, this, in, the, in the between, in the inside, in the middle, you have a concrete beam? Yeah, well, it's a, a change, we call it change. change. Cadenas Cadena. intermedias, uh -huh. yeah. pero escondidas, ¿no? Tiene 30, le, da, le, 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 cor, le cortas el adobe a 5, creas el, la cadena la cadena y lo pones a los lados en alguna parte alguna adobe nada más tiene 5 centímetros aquí ah, ya no pero está escondida le llamamos alacranes no en la construcción que fue algo que nosotros inventamos no <risa> que es nada más la vienes aquí y la, la, la enganchas estas son es como son este columnas eh, de concreto pues es o sea, las amarras no pero cuando usamos el el este el IPR Ahí nada más soldamos, se suelda ahí un tubo y las enganchamos. Por eso le llamamos alacranes, para que tenga ese juego, no, no estén rígidas y a, la, y a la forma tenga un juego. Excelente. Mm -hmm. It looks... Pues ha pasado el temblor, te digo, de 7.2, ¿no? Mm -hmm. It's only the earthquake for 7.2, right. yeah. no the 8.2 yet. No, 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 no. no. So we'll <laughs> knock on wood. <laughs> right. No, it's a very good. Very good decision to, yeah. Se siente diferente, ¿no? El estabilizador. ¿Sí lo puedes sentir a la hora de caminar en la grava? Sí. ¿No? 
That's something. ¿El, ¿El concreto de esto es tierra o es tinte? No, 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 eso, fíjate que eso, con toda la... Cuando estábamos construyendo, estaba el techo, <risa> le pegó, le pegó el, este adobe. Sí. Con las tormentas que tenemos, no tienes idea, las tormentas ¿eh? que tenemos, tenemos unas cuatro o cinco al año, pero son tormentas de que, o sea, llega el agua acá y se mete allá. ¿eh? No, 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 es algo like increíble. Ya, para... Pero I said, like we are living here, it's like we are uh, experiencing, right? Yeah. Like when we see the, when it comes from Matatlan, that area, and then you see very black, it hits that. But sometimes, because there is the Sierra Madre there, where is the Guayapan, there is a, there is a breeze, or I mean, it's, a, it's wind that it gets into the city. So that's what is a very uh, dry area, right? Because mm -hmm. we get it sometimes very hard in the city, over here it's just a sprinkling, you know, just, just a little bit. It's very interesting. And living here is, that's, I don't know. Part of why it's Casa Nube. Exactly. <laughs> Casa Nube. Experiencing, yes, I think. We're in the heights, no? No, no, no. The view is amazing. Okay. Can we go upstairs? Perfect. For everyone that says that you, you, you have the front door when you, you need to go Uh, upstairs, uh -huh. it's a normal thing, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, that we so we have bigger steps where this is more public, and then they turn to more standard small steps to come upstairs where it's private. Point of view again. And then on this side of the wall, you can get out further and get a view down to the dining room or out to the landscape. Ah, and this kind of bridge don't touch. Right, they don't touch. It, it allows them to, it, it, if there's an earthquake, it allows everything to sort of move separately. Did you work with a with a structure engineer? You know in here, or you were the with uh, Cesar and all these guys giving tips all the time. Yeah, yeah. you know. No, but we have a un calculista, no? Yeah. But before we start everything to see the what is the thickness of the EP the IPR que necesitamos, no? El tipo de la altura que nos podemos elevar. Y aquí nos dimos cuenta uh, when they were uh, pouring the concrete mm -hmm. upstairs. We were we were step we were standing up there, remember, yeah. and it start moving, and then we were thinking, what is going to happen? That's where we put those shocks. We call them not shock, but son espirales. Mm -hmm. Entonces, cuando tiempo, ahora que ha temblado el 7.2, se trabaja al mismo tiempo, no, eh, eh, con diferentes, con ahora sí que diferente. Pues el edificio acá no se mueve más lento que este, pero trabajó. ¿no? Entonces, la teoría funciona. You still working? Uh, still working in, in New York? Um, we're consulting back to our, the, the, the New York office. So we're involved a little bit, but they're really taking care of everything there. And they're hoping to um, open an office here, like a formal office here sometime in the next year. Excellent. No, uh, there's a lot of, uh, of, of need, or how do you say it? There's need of good architects here in Mexico because we need a lot of infrastructure, right? Like a, a lot of homes, a lot of uh, hospitals, uh, mm -hmm. because uh, it, that's for me the difference between Europe or I don't know, United States uh -huh. and Mexico. You guys have a lot of, you have airports, you have hospitals, and in Mexico we need. Yeah, that's true, <laughs> yeah. So th this is the little uh, model that that we made of this house that Jave took to the Ejido for a permit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this and some drawings. But if you see this is the, how you get the permit. Uh, uh -huh. well, it's one of them, you know? And it's, <laughs> it's there's and some things that are the same and some things that are very different about it. Mm. Probably this was much too complex yeah. And, yeah. And, and, and probably cost twice as much to build. Yeah, I remember I we were shorting. So. 
because it was right here. This is where the yeah. parking place, uh -huh. and then you wanted a ramp. It was yeah. you were wasting a little bit more. Yeah. Ah, the you had the, the and it was to the limit here. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then we had to. Well, you know, no, we have, it was. I it, think this you, was this, this was the edge of the, the site. Yeah, yeah. Where this is. We thought we needed to leave things open. We didn't quite mm -hmm. understand mm -hmm. what we could do. Mm -hmm. Ah, you don't have the garage in here. Yeah. That's, <laughs> That's right. Uh -huh. So we were adjusting to the... Ah, the yeah. entrance was in the, in the yeah, side. On the side. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. No, it's, it's way better in this way because you have it, a lot of more fluidity, right? It got better. And, and yeah. you, and you uh, get back to the site. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. I mean, at the time when we built this, we thought this was pretty good, <laughs> but it got better. <laughs> it, it can always get better. <laughs> uh, amazing, guys. A very cool office. And the view again. Excellent. Ah, and you have like a closet in here? Yeah, this is where I don't, I'm reluctant to open it up, but it's, <laughs> it's all stor storage for you know, the office, printers, ah, mirrors, of course, of that course. sort of thing. Pretty cool. And in the back you have like your private office or what? No, come, come. No. <laughs> Goes again, we go around. Again, <laughs> exactly. again, again. Yeah. There is a fluidy concept. Ah. Back is the library, yes. All the books together in one place, finally. Beautiful. La design of the, the couch. Me gusta como van tomando ¿no? esos detalles de, de México. Es una arquitectura muy sobria también. sort of two bedrooms here but one is used as a t t as more of like a TV room so this is this is the guest bedroom whenever you visit again oh, thank you with its own sort of bathroom and and dressing area ah, nice and that's this is where the those windows that were leaking are that have those little, <laughs> the funny little cages on the outside. Ah, those are the windows. Yeah, I can open it up for you. Okay. Let's see. Hey. <laughs> ah. That's why they're round, so that you can pivot the window open. Okay. Smart. And again, you don't, uh, you don't have box in here. They're, they're, they're not, no, not really. They're mosquitoes sometimes, so we have fans at the beds, but it's not so bad. Qué buen detalle. No, los sanitarios empotrados, el mismo material, the cement walls. Hi everyone, I'm Abraham Cotapredes. And I'm enjoying this house very, very much. Hope you too. No, esta sensación de, de lo rústico, pero al mismo tiempo muy elegante. No, esta lámpara es la clave. Look the contrast between the colors, right? The blue, the yellow, the light brown of the adobe. In here you change the floor. Yeah, the upper floors are all, all concrete. In New York, in, uh, your architecture was very different, the materials? Very different, very different, yeah. We, well, mo a lot of the work was in historic neighborhoods, also old townhouses and... Okay. Um, yeah, things that were 150 years old that needed renovating or adding to. 
Yeah. You didn't have much chance to to exploit uh, exploit your creativity, right? Not not as much. No, I mean it was very like Brenda was saying. Most of our work was in historic districts and was residential, so we were working with old connected townhouses, okay. and you know they're very very specific. And when you've done, you know, I don't know how many we did. When you've done a hundred of them, the hundred and second one isn't very interesting <laughs> to do. You know, it's good for the people, the, the, the clients, but for us it's not that creative. And, and it's difficult in New York to get the opportunity to actually build something new in New York. And we have a few of those projects, but not very many. So it's nice, you know, nice to be here to have, to be able to build something completely new from, from, from nothing. Exactly. Hopefully, you will have very uh, a lot of new projects, so you can exper experiment with yeah. ideas. That would be yeah. great. <laughs> it would be a surprise, but it would be great. <laughs> so in the so we have a wall of cabinets that are just storage. This is this is a different uh, type of wood, right? No, it's the it's same. It? It's the same nopo. Yeah, it's the same nopo and. Uh, We designed the, the 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 hardware, these little leather poles, and then there's another there's another bathroom here um, that can be used if this last room is a bedroom. Very elegant. Que marca son? Elbex, claro. Rocas sanitarios. The same material, guys. The same yeah. materials in the floor and the yeah. the walls. No, it gives them the atmosphere, right? Like very, very cool but warm. Mm -hmm. Very, very simple. Very simple. Mm -hmm. Again, I love the, the the showers without the glass door. More natural feeling. Yeah. Oh, this picture. <laughs> This is a good one. That, that's how we felt when we came to Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like this guy. <laughs> What am I doing? <laughs> I love the work of the, of the doors. Hi, hidden in the in the wall. Ah, the nene. See? No, super trabajo, eh? Sí, le trabaja muy limpio ahora, ¿no? Pero aquí se tuvieron que cambiar las puertas. Porque en el, en el diseño inicial, cuando descubrimos, ¿no? We, uh, we discover when you work like this horizontal, the doors, they were uh, getting concave, ¿no? Yeah, they were working. I mean, this is, if you do it horizontal, mm -hmm. it goes like this in an arc. I mean, it were like in, in the in the rainy season. In the rainy season, we're like, but I mean, it's. I mean, you were talking about five, four centimeters. Okay. So we had to change it to this, this. To the vertical, and you also need some horizontal in the back, right or no? No, no, only ah, okay. This is the one that helps, no? To do that, they still a little bit sometimes, huh, Brenda? A little bit in the rainy season, but then it goes back. Oh, and it's the same with those doors. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but it almost popped off of the hinge. It was bent so much, mm -hmm. that door. So. Pero el no pues bonito de verdad para trabajar, eh? Es una yeah. madera... It's different because the cabinetry... You see, your dad made anyway. this one? Uh-huh. This is a riddle. It's, it's a yeah, riddle, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And that was, it's like a mies, right, or no? No, that's a... Uh, Uh, Chiterio, right? Ah, okay. Yeah, Antonio Chiterio. But my father has built all of the Rietveld pieces, all of them. <laughs> this is an art. Uh, this is art. Yeah. Piece of art. Oh, and again, the lamp. Beautiful lamp. No, it, this is a spot only for TV, right? And, and the view. And, and for TV only at night. Because during the day there's a terrible reflection, <laughs> so you can only watch television at night. 
Again, this the the same artist, right? Yeah, like, Stephen Main. Stephen Main. Yeah. It's like a mix, a mixture yeah. between, yeah. like I don't know, Andy Warhol and and what is the name of the the, the German guy, the, the one who paints Gerhard Richter. <laughs> Richter. Richter. Right? Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like a mix. And in here there is a big void to enjoy the. Yeah. Oh, but be careful. Yeah. <laughs> Cuidado. <laughs> Cuidado, porque... No, but it's a very cool light entrance. There's yeah. some sunlight gets down there certain times of year, and we capture a little more volume here from the from the roof above. Y la celosía, the, the, the celosía, it was made with the with the, uh, the pigment. No, no, we had to. No, 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 we had to do an invention over there too. Stain, yeah. Stain it with. Uh, I, there's three products that we use. Yeah. I don't have it in mind right piece now. Piece by piece? One by one? Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, but it was, yeah, it was a bucket, you know, a few buckets with a few guys, you know, they mix it and then they just let it dry. It's yeah. like to hang it out and dry it, dry it. Yeah, yeah because it's more expensive to, to, to fabricate, right? No, yeah, because, I mean, yeah. I, I, don't, I, 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 I don't know where we can find one. I don't know if you know the contact someone they can do a color. Well, I get to know in, in Merida, one one guy, uh, Tama Architects, who made uh, Celosia with a brick that they put the pigment. And you have the steel. Yeah, there's steel built in to reinforce it. So, and, and there's, uh, there's, there's some steel bars, I think, uh, in the mortar. So it's actually very strong. There's a little bit of flexibility to it. But that's how you, you you don't really see it from even even from a couple meters with the light behind it. Uh -huh. It's yeah. the first time I see it yeah. actually. <laughs> it's going to be made by steel or concrete? no? All concrete. All concrete. All concrete. Yeah, we were thinking to pigment it, uh, but my parents didn't like the idea. They wanted it to be very natural, so. And and I like that. We were just afraid it would be too strong, but they liked it. So yeah, three pieces. So you can see the there'll be one here on the land they're filling in now, and then they're each of different lengths. There's another one that starts there on the right, where at the end of the corrugated metal, the Q deck, and and goes to about where all that that first little bundle of the manguera is. And then there'll be a courtyard in the middle, and then an, the last, uh, the second portion of that, that 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 open area there will have a vault, and then the last one starts where that beam is essentially, and goes down to the other end. But that last one is bent a little bit, so it bends a little bit to look at the mountains there. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. And, and opens up to the courtyard a little I bit. You the, can see the, the little arrow. bend. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Ah, yeah, because you will have that, that same like corridor, hallway, exactly. uh, facing there. Exactly. Uh, well, you guys, um, thank you very, very much for, for giving us this, this beautiful, wonderful uh, visit uh, on this quite good piece of architecture. I'm very grateful. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I mean, it's funny for us who've only been here a short time to say welcome to Oaxaca <laughs> and please come back to Oaxaca. But that's what we feel. Oaxaca, Oaxaca it's yours now. <laughs> or you are part of Oaxaca. <laughs> thank you very much. And let's, let's uh, hope that someone, someone uh, is watching and will We'll uh, get to uh, get in, talk, in contact with you guys um, to build a beautiful home in, here in the heights of Oaxaca. Thank you very much. Y muchas gracias por soportar nuestro mal inglés. Cota Paredes. Adelante. Es el detrás de cámaras. A José le gusta bailar.
Ok, vean esta maravilla, jóvenes. No, Javier, aquí sí te rifaste. O sea, ¿Cuánto duró esta construcción? Un año. ¿Un año? Rapidísimo. Esto es el detrás de cámaras. Güey. Tuve que correr en la mañana para tomar el vuelo acá de Oaxaca y esa corrida me cayó bastante mal. Cinco de la mañana. Vean el concreto. Ah, los muros de gaviones, fíjense. Fíjense el muro de gavión que hay acá. Cómo se desplanta la casa. La mezcla de materiales, la piedra, el cemento, el adobe, el acero. Es una belleza, ¿no? Y el color, y estos colores de la tierra y de, y de la piedra hacen que se funda con el, con el paisaje. Luego llega la vegetación desértica de los cactus, las cactáceas, los agaves. 